Welcome to our lesson on adding fractions. To add fractions with the same or like denominators, we will add the numerators, keeping the denominator the same, and then we'll simplify if possible. So for one-fifth plus two-fifths, the denominator is going to stay five, and then we add the numerators, and since one plus two is equal to three, this sum is three-fifths. If we take a look at the model for this, here's one-fifth, here's two-fifths, if we add these pieces together, notice how they're the same size, and we'll have three pieces, where each piece represents one-fifth, therefore the sum is three-fifths. It's important to understand this idea because to add fractions with different or unlike denominators, the first step is to find the least common multiple of the denominators. This is called the least common denominator, or LCD. Once we identify the LCD, we're going to create equivalent fractions with the common denominator. And then once we have the same denominators, we'll add the numerators, keeping the denominators the same. And as always, simplify if possible. So if we have one-half plus one-fourth, the first step is to identify the least common multiple of two and four, which is the smallest number divisible by both two and four, which would be four. So we want both fractions to have a denominator of four. Well, this one already has a denominator of four, this one has a denominator of two, and since two times two is equal to four, we can multiply this denominator by two as long as we do the same to the numerator. Multiplying the numerator and denominator by two is equivalent to multiplying by one. But now notice how we have a common denominator of four. We would have two-fourths plus one-fourth, so the denominator stays four, and then we add the numerators. Two plus one is equal to three the sum is equal to three-fourths. It's important that we understand what's happening here, so let's take a look at a common error when adding fractions, and then we'll explain why we have to have a common denominator. A common mistake when adding fractions is to add the numerators and add the denominators, as we see here, and this is incorrect, and let's see why. Here's the model for a one-half, and here's the model for a one-fourth. Using this idea, we're saying if we add these two pieces together, we'll get these two pieces, which represents two-sixths. And notice that two-sixths is actually less than one-half, so there's no way we could add these two pieces and get a smaller amount. And that's why this is incorrect. Let's take a look at what's really happening when we obtain a common denominator. If we take the fraction of one-half muddled here, but divide it into four equal pieces rather than just two, Notice how now, instead of one-half, we can write this as two-fourths. Here's the model for one-fourth, and notice using these two models, the pieces are the same size, and therefore if we add these, we'll have three pieces of the same size, each piece representing one-fourth, therefore the sum is three-fourths. So when we obtain the least common denominator, what we're doing is actually dividing the fractions into equal size pieces. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Here we have three-tenths plus one-fifth. The first step is to identify the least common multiple of ten and five, which will be our LCD. So if we can look at this and recognize that the smallest number divisible by both ten and five is ten, that's great. If we can't, that's not a problem. We can list multiples of ten, list multiples of five, to identify the LCD. If we count by tens, we'd have 10, 20, 30, and so on. If we count by fives, we'd have five, 10, 15, and so on. Notice how the least common multiple, which is our LCD, would be 10. So we want both of these fractions to have a denominator of 10. Well, the first one already has a denominator of 10, so we'll leave that the same. And then for the second fraction of 1 -fifth, since five times two is equal to 10, we'll multiply both the numerator and denominator by two, which is the same as multiplying by one. Notice how this gives us three-tenths, plus this is now two-tenths, which is equal to five-tenths. But we're not done here because five-tenths can simplify. We could write five as one times five, and 10 as two times five, so the fives simplify to one, giving us a sum of one-half. 
Now there are a couple ways to identify the LCD, but listing multiples will always work. Next we have three-fourths plus one-sixth. Again, the first step is to identify the least common multiple of four and six, which will be our LCD. And that would be the smallest number divisible by both four and six. So again, we can save ourselves some time if we recognize the LCD would be 12, but if we can't, that's not a problem. We can always list multiples of four and multiples of six to identify the LCD. So for four, we'd have four, eight, 12, 16, and so on. And for six, we'd have six, 12, 18, and so on. Again, notice how the least common multiple, or the LCD, is 12. So we want to rewrite both of these fractions with a denominator of 12. So we have three-fourths plus one-sixth. And since four times three is equal to 12, we'll multiply the top and bottom by three. And then since six times two is equal to 12, we'll multiply the top and bottom by two. So this gives us nine twelfths plus, this should be two twelfths. And now the denominator stays the same. Add the numerators, nine plus two is equal to 11. And this does not simplify. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. Here we have three plus three fifths. We want this three to be in fraction form. Let's go ahead and put this over one. So now we have three over one plus three over five. Well, the least common multiple of one and five will just be five. So we'll have to multiply three over one by five over five to have our common denominator of five. So now we'll have 15 fifths plus three fifths common denominator is five, add the numerators, 15 plus three is equal to 18. Again, these don't have any common factors other than one, so this is in simplest form. Next, we have five twelfths plus three eighths. First step is to determine the LCD, or least common multiple, of 12 and eight. So that would be the smallest number divisible by both 12 and eight. So if we recognize this to be 24, that's great. If we don't, that's okay too. We can always list multiples of 12, list multiples of eight to identify the LCD. So if we count by 12s, we'd have 12, 24, 36, and so on. If we count by eights, we'd have eight, 16, 24, 32, and so on. And notice how the smallest number they have in common is 24. So we want both fractions to have a denominator of 24. So uh, five over 12 plus three over eight. And since 12 times two is 24, multiply the top and bottom by two. And then since eight times three is equal to 24, we'll multiply both the top and bottom by three. So now we'll have 10 24ths plus, this is now nine 24ths. And the denominator is the same. So now we add the numerators. Since 10 plus nine is equal to 19, we have a sum of 19 24ths, which again does not simplify. We will take a look at some more examples in the next few videos, but hopefully this gives you a good foundation on why we have to have a common denominator and how we can identify the least common denominator. While there are other ways to identify the least common denominator, listing multiples will always work. I hope you found this helpful.